I'm Marie Greener from XR Today, bringing you the latest in news and conversation from the extended reality space. Today, we are joined by Perina Marino, the CEO of Flickplay, a Web3 social app working with major media partners to blend the metaverse and the real world. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Fantastic. So to start us off, could you introduce uh, the Flickplay application as well as the company's goals and vision? Yeah, Flickplay is a Web3 social app where people can unlock and flex their NFTs in the real world. I always say that the easiest way for you to get around the concept is Pokemon Go meets TikTok. So you're able to go to locations to unlock NFTs. Our map is becoming a real world marketplace for digital assets meets a platform like TikTok where you're able to actually story tell with the things that you own. And a big part of our vision is to create a synchronized experience and reality between the things that you own and you interact with in the real world or how and how the, your digital assets become a part of that experience. So when we think about digital assets, we not only think about them as a digital token that you own in a wallet, but as an, as an active asset that provides both social and cultural relevancy uh, and identity and utility in the real world. Fantastic. So could you provide a little bit of insight into Flickplay's experience in developing and deploying Web3 content at scale and perhaps how do users interact with the uh, Web3 assets? Yeah, it is actually been like a pretty interesting experience because I started the company about three years ago, three ish years ago. So we definitely went through a full evolution of consumer behavior with digital assets. Uh, we have seen AR uh, in multiple facets of its development uh, really push the envelope as it comes to how you visualize things in the real world that doesn't exist. Uh, however, I do think that something that Web3 brought to the table that was not experienced before, that, 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 that was not... Um, explore before was the idea to you visualize things that actually have an, a significant importance for you as a, as a person, right? I think that when I, we started FlickPay, we would see, we would work on the onboarding experience and, and really see people just opening a collectible from their bed and just point it out. Like it felt very prototypey in the way people, how people care about what they created with the, the digital items and as we start transitioning uh, this year to Web3 and really supporting the idea of you visualizing, building the social rank of your NFTs within the platform, we realized this commitment from consumers to actually tell the right story for with the things that they own. So whenever they're in a boat, whenever they're in the beach, whenever they're in a restaurant they love, they will pull out their phones and actually make their characters, their items part of that experience. Experience. So it, 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 it speaks a lot about the importance of not only thinking about the technology, but what does truly have value for consumers and how they want to uh, potentially bridge that reality with the real world. Fantastic. And it seems to very much favor the foundation of Web3, which is a user generated content, if that's fair to say. Yeah. Brilliant. So I'd like to learn a little bit more about the, some of the technologies you use. You've touched on this a little bit, but I'd like to learn a little bit more about social media NFTs. And I want to learn a little bit more about their functionalities and purpose. Yeah, so I think that the way we think about social, like many people think that a, tech, a piece of technology is what makes something social. And we believe that human behavior and amplification of human behavior is what attracts you, attracts people to want to be involved. So a, a lot of, a, a lot of what we have focused uh, in, in the last few years to architect within our product is trying to link every real world touch point or, or experience that we have with things um, and bridge that with digital items. So when you go to the Flickplay app, 
the product is pretty robust. It's a very 360 environment where you not only get to connect your wallet and create videos with your NFTs, but the moment you create a video with your NFTs, uh, any any social data, views, likes, impressions contributes towards the rank of your NFT within the ecosystem. Any video that you create with a collectible uh, becomes part of the legacy, the social legacy of that collectible itself. So if you tomorrow decide to sell or to give that specific NFT, the person, that the receiver could continue that legacy and the videos that you have created with that collectible will remain as part of that uh, historical value. So we truly think about social and, and from more from a how the ownership of items in the real world builds the legacy and how how the importance of the legacy uh, of brands, of products, of uh, items that have both financial, cultural, and emotional value, or either of them, uh, contribute towards the cultural conversation around how what I'm wearing today is building my identity, but it's also building the reputation of the brand that I decide to pick to wear today. So uh, a lot of what we, how we focus on, on developing our ecosystem is truly by matching every, um, as many touch points that we see humans uh, interacting with in their everyday life with physical things, but in our case, with the digital items that you own. Brilliant. So if we can dissect that a little bit more, uh, recently you partnered with the Metaverse platform, The Sandbox, to distribute social media NFTs. Um, how has that project gone and what have you learned from the experience? Yeah, it, it's been a fascinating experience. Like, first of all, our visions are like very aligning how we see different ecosystem uh, working together and contributing uh, to to the value creation for for users so from the gate call like it was a very a seamlessly a connection that that we have from a vision standpoint now from a practical standpoint um it, it's been pretty interesting because a lot of people think that gamers and non-gamers are two completely different ecosystems and the gamers uh, don't are not looking for self-expression in the real world and they're just looking to build their identity and there isn't such a thing so a lot of what we have found is that because they have such a strong community around creators musicians um artists when they're able to interact with their with their avatars with the anything that they own within the sandbox game in their desktops uh, that is a, a a piece of their identity that is a piece of their the reality that they have decided to embrace but whenever they step out of their computer they extend that experience and that reality by using our camera right so while uh you User, a, a creator on the sandbox game will go to a concert and be next to the DJ booth. Uh, on Flick Play, that same creator will put their Snoop Doggy next to uh, in a recording studio and and share that moment as I'm here and I'm currently doing this specific activity and I'm extending that experience and reality that I was having three hours ago when I was playing uh, the sandbox, in the sandbox. So for us, it's really about that extension of an experience and continuing to keep uh, these items, avatars, uh, relevant for the cultural discourse that, that happens in their everyday life. Brilliant. There's so much to take away from that, uh, just combining AR and immersive technologies with the real world and allowing those to coexist. Um, within that, what opportunities exist for business to business and marketing uh, opportunities on the uh, Flick Play ecosystem? Yeah. I think that we see a lot in the market people talking about wanting to join the metaverse, but sometimes 
certain experience don't don't feel authentic to their consumer. So a lot of the bets that brands are making, it's either we're betting in something that is completely foreign to us, but maybe we will get there. Uh, or we find an in-between space where we can we can continue to contribute to some of the key metrics that we call success today uh, for us to continue to grow our brands and and con yet uh, immerse our brand and extend the experience of our brand to the digitalization of assets. So within the Flickplay product, we still support brands to drive some of those key metrics. So it, let's say, let's put a Nike store as an example, right? They own NFTs. So on a Nike uh, brand would be able to uh, place landmarks in every store nationally and say by owning or purchasing this pair of digital shoes, you're gonna be able to get early access to exclusive uh, merchandising. You're gonna be able to get a discount and a specific point of times that other people want. So we think about NFTs for brand as a loyalty, engagement, and re-engagement tool. And 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 it's a re-engagement tool with very unique and uh, never seen before features because when you think about the uh, the brand space if you have that first 1000 fans that will wear your product that 1000 fans will turn into 1500 into 5000 into 10000 and so on right and when when you introduce digital products as part of not only your revenue stream but your offering for consumer you're opening the opportunity for a brand to track the lifetime usage of that product because when i'm walking in santa monica and again nike as an example walk into a nike store and decide to buy a digital pair of shoes in the form of an nft in that location every time that i decide to wear those digital shoes because it matches the story that i'm trying to tell when i'm hiking when i'm in the beach when i'm when i'm traveling and i'm being a tourist every time i wear um those shoes the brand is able to understand what is the ecosystem that i pick to use uh, that pair of shoes on so they can look into a uh, retail expansion they can look into partnerships and and uh, uh, because i could be wearing a pair of nike shoes with uh, an a specific um character that is a teacher or that it's experiencing the real world so why would i not create a partnership with that character if i'm realizing that a big part of our community is actually interacting with those two pieces of ip or brands right so the the, the ability for brands to not only be able to transact and create a new revenue stream but get a closer connection with their consumers and with the lifetime usage of the products that that brand provide to continue to evolve a community driven brand uh, that uh, goes from the inside to the outside Fantastic. I feel there's so much to really take away from that. Um, you, there's a lot of background really to digital Web3 assets and NFTs uh, that perhaps are going a little bit under the radar, if that's fair. Um, but finally, I wanted to ask, I have to ask because I've seen this news a lot. Um, how has your experience been on the Disney XR Accelerator? And perhaps could you talk about the benefits of working with other major media partners? Yeah, it, it's been an incredible experience. Uh, the, the industry is so new and, and seeing um, a Fortune 50 companies like uh, tapping into the space and, and exploring the possibilities and, and being able to be a part of that conversation is definitely a one in a, t a lifetime experience. So uh, I, I do have to say that it, it is incredible to see uh, what is happening and, 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 and being a part of it is something that I feel truly honored uh, 
uh, of um, as it comes to the uh, accelerator itself. Um, most people think that an accelerator is like ver that very like high touch uh, experience where that w zero to one uh, steps, but uh, it's, it's really been incredible because we have been able to work with executive that have been for years or if not decades in, in the company. <laughs> on strategizing uh, how to position uh, the company uh, when uh, uh, discussing a potential opportunity with with the with the with Disney itself right so it, it's been really fascinating to have the opportunity to not only meet all the different executives that have uh, put out there I think that I met with over 20 90 already so imagine uh, all the different companies that Disney own uh, but also discuss and brainstorm uh, about what the future holds uh, and and how we could potentially contribute to it. Fantastic. That sounds like very exciting times for sure. Um, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. That was incredibly insightful. Um, for those watching, what's the best way to keep up with and uh, keep in touch with Flickplay? Yeah, so you can find us on Twitter, Flickplay app. Uh, my personal domain is Merino Pierina. Uh, you can find us on OpenSea with our Genesis collection, the Flicky Gun, uh, and on every social pretty much. So just look for Flick Play app everywhere. <laughs> Brilliant. That's it for myself. Get more XR news by subscribing to the XR Today news channel and by following our social pages. I'm Rory Gruner from XR Today. Thank you very much for watching.